Hi, in this video I'll cover how to import a table in a PDF into Excel using Power Query. Now this feature is actually pretty new on the Microsoft 365 or the old Office 365 subscription model. So if you don't have that, I'll have a link in the description on how to do this if you don't have it. But this is pretty new and it's a really nice feature. So if you're used to copying and pasting from tables into Excel, using Power Query to do it, is going to be a little bit easier. So let's see how we can do this. So here I have the table that I want. I'm just going to get the first part of this table from uh, US Teens over to 75K and up and bring it into Excel where it looks like this, where I can do some further analysis or just bring it in. Now, this particular table I got from the Pew Research Center. They've got a lot of great articles and the accompanying PDF. So if I downloaded this, if I clicked on that, that's what gave me that. And I would be able to look at this particular file and the table, of course, that I want is, this is four pages long, but the table I really want is on here. And correspondingly, this particular table is on page 15. So if I bring it into Power Query, I'm gonna make note of that. This is page 15 of the PDF. Go into a new worksheet. Let's go into a new worksheet and start this. So I have a new worksheet here. I'd go into data, go to get data from file and from PDF. Click on that. I've downloaded this already. So just go into that, double click it to open it up. And it's going to open up in the navigator window. And the navigator window is going to give you two broad categories of how to pull the data in. It's going to look at the tables within each, each of the individual tables and the uh, each there could be multiple tables per page or it can pull it in from the page right so for example I had mentioned before I was on page 15 so if I clicked here on page 15 you'll notice that all the preview the preview gives you kind of a indication of what is going to be brought into Power Query you know it's all this other extra stuff here and here but if I scroll up let's go scroll up and look at the table views if it's going to bring in just the table page 15 click on that one you can see it's a little bit smaller so it doesn't bring in the whole page now this is what I want so there's still some cleanup that I need to do but this is probably better of what I want so you're gonna constantly have to do comparisons of the table in the PDF to what your eventual output looks like so this is what I want go to transform data it's gonna bring it into the power query editor there are some there still are some things I need to do here to further uh, transform this particular file but we're a little bit closer than what we are before. So you notice that it brought over the files and it actually changed the type of the column. So we have these, it tried to change the type here. This looks like this ABC is text, this one to three is numbers. And I usually just remove that because I don't want the editor to do that for me. I'm gonna do it later on if I need to. But we'll notice that some of the columns don't match up. So YouTube, we notice that there's, there's a number here for Instagram, 72, but YouTube should be 85 here, and it's mixed it in with that first column of data. We need to separate that. So how do we do that? We're going to split columns. So we're going to split by two digits. So you notice, as I mentioned before, you do have to compare what you have here with your previous P the table in your PDF. So I know if I look back here in my PDF, these were two-digit numbers and it's separated here. I can I can see if I can do it separating by text and number, but you notice that there are some numbers here, so I can't really do that. So I'm gonna separate it by the number of digits. So there, all of these have pretty much two digits. Go back into Power Query. Now there's other options too. If you look, okay, there's numbers, but there's also positions. Maybe, maybe we can split by space, the last space here. And if I go back into the P table here, uh, that might work. And I might not need to split it by the amount of characters here because what if there was a three character digit here? But in this instance, it's going to probably be a space. So maybe that will work. So if I look here and I go split by column, let's split by the delimiter, which is going to be a space. So it's going to be the last space here, right? So we do the space at the rightmost delimiter here. So we can see if that works. Click OK. And we look at our data here. And it looks like it did it. It got my number share. I've got the first one was 85, the last one was 85. If I go back to the table here, 85 and 85, I had wanted only these rows here. I didn't need those bottom rows. Go back into Power Query, and I can probably remove these bottom rows here now. 
one, two, three, four. So go under remove rows, remove bottom rows, and we'll remove those four bottom rows. Click OK, and those are gone. Now all I need to do is change the headers here. This one should be blank, or I'll just call this item. I did before, call this one YouTube. Or maybe I should have changed it earlier, but it's OK. Delete that, and I have my data here. And let's see, we have US Teens, 75 and up, and that looks okay. Reddit 7 and 8. If I go back to the table here, Reddit 7 and 8, perfect. And all I need to do now is just bring this into the Excel file worksheet. Click close and load. It's going to bring it into the worksheet, and now I've got my table. So as you can see, you can use Power Query in Excel to bring that table in from PDF. Uh, I think previously before this, Sometimes you would probably had to copy and paste it into Excel from the PDF exactly, and they weren't always going to match up, and there'd be multiple steps. Here, there's still some steps involved, but not as much. And again, if you didn't have Power Query, you can actually still do this without Power Query, and I'll put a link in the description of this video on how to do that. So that's how we can import tables from a PDF into Excel using Power Query. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.